Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen the difference between the options API and also the composition API. We have seen it. Now it's time for us to learn about the view application. So how to install the view application. So in order to install the view application, so first you need to have the familiarity in the command line. So you should have a little bit of knowledge in the command line. So if you are not new to command line also, it's not a problem basic knowledge in the command line you need to have and the next one is so we need to install the node.js version node.js in our system so node.js means if i try to open the chrome i will try to open the here if i open this one so node.js so you need to install the node.js so here you'll be able to see the node.js and the current running version is the 18.15.0 long term version so you can use it so for making the Vue.js application to run in your system. So you need to have the Node.js version greater than 16.0. So you can install this 18.15. So if you have if you have the older version of the Node.js, which is less than 16, so you can upgrade it to the 18.15. So fine. So now these are the two things. So let's see in our command prompt whether the Node.js is installed or not. So you can directly click on this one and the exe file will be downloaded and you can install that exe file and you can double click on that exe file it will go go through a series of steps and you can go on clicking next and next and you can install the node.js so after installing the node.js you need to make sure that you need to go to the command prompt here so like this and you need to check that node.js is installed or not by using node-v and here right now the version running in my system is the 18.12.1 so it's a little bit older than the present current running so it's fine so it's not a problem so you need to have 16.0 greater than 16.0 right now i'm having 18.12 it's not a problem so now if i type node hyphen v and if i am able to see the version number in your system means now you are ready to go so we have the node js installed in our system so this next thing what we need to have is so nothing so now you can go to the project folder wherever you want to in create a project and here this is the d projects and in this one i have created a folder view 3 composition and in this one so you can type the command npm init view at the rate latest so you can type the command like this so now this will command will install and execute the create hyphen view so it will try to install the create hyphen view and afterwards it will execute this create hyphen view so this is nothing but a view project scaffolding tool so now you will be asking some series of options such as you need your TypeScript support or testing support like this it will ask you some series of questions so let's wait so it will ask you some series of questions here you will be able to see the Vue.js the progressive JavaScript framework and it is asking you the project name what is the project name of your project so here I am using view 3 hyphen composition so the same name I am using so we are learning about the view 3 composition right so that is the reason so it is asking do you want a TypeScript support so if you want if you don't know about this typescript we already have a playlist about the typescript typescript is just nothing but it's a superset of the javascript so we don't want any typescript support so do you want the jsx support so we don't want anything and if you want to implement the view router so we'll try to implement this router afterwards but right now we don't want anything and pinia for state management no and white test for this unit testing no so if you want to have e2e solution no and if you want to add easily no so i am taking all the no so so that we need to keep it as a simple as simple as possible so here we are able to see it is done so it is asking us to go to the project folder okay u3 hyphen composition and the next thing what it will try to ask is so it will it will tell you npm install so that it will install all the project all the dependencies that are involved in this view project so fine so now it will do let it do it so now we have the so after running this one so we should have our first view project running so know that the note that the example components in this project are all written in the composition api so rather than the options api so that is not a problem so now we'll right now we are learning about this one all right composition api so that is the reason so now you need to write npm run dev so it will run the project so if it will run the project let it run so it is taking some time okay so it has run the project so now here if you try to see localhost 155173 oh i have stopped this one so let's go here 
so here i am using local host the like 5173 like this right so let's see it see so now we are able to successfully install the created a new project now let's see the project structure so if you try to see so here i can open code space dot and here you'll be able to see the series of files here so these are the files which are involved if you want to increase the font size means let's try to increase the font size okay so here i will be using uh, in the workspace i will increase it to something around 24 so 24 we have installed it so and also the zoom we need to have a zoom so this one should be around one so that it will we, we can able to see so here index.html yeah it is showing somewhat bigger and the zoom level also we will increase it to two whether we are able to get it or not yeah let's see yeah so now we are able to see it so this is how we will be able to see it. now here the top one is the node modules so which are all the dependencies which are required for this project and this is our public folder and here this is our source folder so here if you try to see this is our root component and in this root component we are able to see welcome and all those things we are able to see so here we are having these all things main.js so this is the main thing open uh, bootstrap file so here you will be having create app so this is the root component from this root component all the components will be injected and mount of hash app so this one comes under here div id is equal to app here it is using so like this we will be having let's try it. we will try to see all those things so this is our configuration just like the webpack and here this is the configuration so now so we have seen all these things right so now let's move on to the another one so there is also another way so now you will be asking me that okay fine so this is the build tool setup so can we install the view using the cdn so we can also use this view we can also install it using the cdn it's not a problem so we can also do it like that also so i will try to show you this one uh, if i want to show you so here so we'll try to see it in the next video actually so and here if you try to see i will explore these all the things so that you can be able to understand very easily and here these are all the things regarding the package so it will ask you the series of questions and here is so here you'll be able to see the white so this is the uh, what you can say the build tool and this is the plugin and here dependency the right now we are using is the vue.js version 3.2.47 and here this is the commands so npm run dev it will install the white so if you want to have the for the production build means you can directly type npm run build a dish folder will be created in this one all the generated files will be created in that one so that is one thing and these are all the assets things so whenever whatever the css you want to have it or logo or anything whatever the things you want you can use it here and these are all the public files which are uh, publicly available okay through the url so there is no need for us so directly we can use it and what else so these are all the components hello world that component so here you'll be able to see define props these are the things you'll try to see so don't uh, confuse so these are this is the composition way script setup and all the things i will explain you so these are all the components so which are having so we'll try to remove these all the components and we'll do it from the starting onwards so this is the simple way how we can install the uh, how we can create the project using the vue.js build tool so in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to install the same application using the cdn version so how we can do this one using the cdn version we'll try to see it in the next video hope you understood about this one vue.js installation if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you